Welcome back everyone for another tutorial here on Overtake GG. My name is Riot Bucks and today I'm going to show you the top 5 bikes in Milestone's newest release, Rive 4. Which one is the fastest, which bike has the best handling and which one offers the best bang for your buck? Let's find out. We kick things off at number 5 with the Aprilia Tuono V4 1100, which is one of the three World Superbike Series rides on this list. Therefore, it's the slowest of the bunch, ranked with only 931 performance points in the shop. Don't get me wrong, the Aprilia is a powerful superbike which was crafted by the Italian manufacturer with speed in mind, but compared to the others, it's just that tiny bit slower coming in last in this ranking. The Aprilia Tuono is designed as a so-called street fighter, a sports bike which is customised by removing the fairing and other changes resulting in an overall more aggressive look. Though it's the cheapest on our list with only 841,000 credits, the other two world superbikes are only a few hundreds more expensive. Which brings us to rank number 4. In 4th place we have the Kawasaki Ninja ZX 10RR, Kawasaki's take on the competition of world superbikes, which lands just ahead of the Aprilia in this ranking with a total of 934 performance points in Rive 4. Compared to the other rides, the Kawasaki is the only one on this list with an acceleration stat of under 10, which is funny because when you're riding against the AI, they don't pull away from you. The bike wins as many races as every other and is no slower in any regard. Maybe it's a typo bar milestone or the traction of the Kawasaki is just better, resulting in a faster corner exit compared to the rest. Anyhow, if you're a fan of Japanese superbikes, the Kawasaki Ninja ZX 10RR might be the choice for you. In rank 3 we have my absolute favourite on the list, the Ducati Panigale V4R. With 875,000 credits, it's the most expensive of the three world superbikes, but in my opinion it offers the best bang for your buck. It's fast, good on the brakes and handles similarly to the Kawasaki and the Aprilia. If you are searching for a bike to compete with in the final superbike league in career mode, this is the one to go for. Just look at it. I absolutely adore it. A quite aggressive front with small winglets at the sides that remind me of the MotoGP series. Stunning. The Panigale V4R produces a claimed 234 horsepower which makes it the most powerful, street legal production bike available in the world. It combines everything you want in a sports bike and is an excellent choice for your career mode. But at the end of the day, the decision is yours between three bikes that all ride similarly to each other. It's hard to notice the subtle differences, which is why I personally would go for the looks of the Ducati Panigale V4R. Got 4.3 million credits to spare? Yes? Then the Tamburini T12 Massimo is the bike for you. It's a one-off design from the legendary bike designer Massimo Tamburini, who created the 1994 Ducati 916, among other world-famous bikes. It feels completely different from the other ones on our list as it was designed to be the most lightweight bike in its class. This means it handles well and stops and accelerates better than any other bike in Rive 4. That is also backed up by the stat in game. It has a 10 rating for the braking power, which you can definitely feel when approaching a corner as the last guy to hit the brakes. Regarding appearance, the T12 only comes with one carbon fibre finish, which compared to the many different designs the other bikes enjoys, is a bit bland. At least it does look nice. The lightweight design makes it fun to ride because when you flip it over into a chicane, it reacts super quickly, which makes it a fun toy to play with. Acceleration naturally benefits from low weight as well, but on the straight, our number one would pull away. The fastest bike in Rive 4 is Kawasaki Ninja H2R, a race modified bike based on the road legal Kawasaki Ninja H2. This track version comes with a supercharged motor that will power it up to 205 miles per hour. That's 330 kmh. That's roughly 30 km per hour more than the place 2 to 5. Just listen to the supercharger spooling and whistling when it revs up. That's how a superbike should sound if you ask me. From the five candidates on this list, the Ninja H2R is the king of the straight, with a top speed stat of 9.87. That is more than one point better than the competition which you can really feel in the game. Because of that, it can be a bit of a handful on the brakes. 
You must brake earlier as you are obviously going faster. Furthermore, the H2R is quite torquey which makes it difficult to ride when coming out of a corner. Be patient when putting the power down and accelerate slowly to not fold the bike unnecessarily. The bike reeks of power and is therefore the most difficult handling wise. But that just might be the way Milestone is balancing this one. In the grand scheme, all the other bikes on this list are better in the corners. Sadly, the Ninja H2R is racing in a class on its own in Rive 4. There is no way in the game to race it against any other race modified bikes, as it is not featured in the World Superbike series in real life. You could compare it to the Bugatti Veyron, which was by far the fastest road car of its time, but that was never built with racing in mind. Nevertheless, it's the fastest bike in the game and it takes a true champion to unlock its potential in the end. And that's it for today. Which bike on our list do you like the most and what ride outside of the top 5 deserves a mention? Let us know in the comment section down below and don't forget to check out our latest video where we compared Ride 4 and MotoGP 20. Get subscribed to Overtake for more content like this. Thanks for having me. Cheers.